Hi there, this is Michael Prescott, and I am uh, doing a video on how to draw circles in an isometric perspective. Uh, so you can see here on the left is uh, some kind of evil cultist room, and there's at least three circles in play. There's a circle that marks the top of this pit, a circle that marks the lower lip of the pit, and then we've got a circle here to be the, or at least a half circle, to be the top part of this archway. So if you're a more skilled draftsman than I am, you can uh, perhaps freehand these. I can't do that. And I don't have an especially steady hand either, as you can see from what I've drawn so far. Um, but what I want to show you is a technique to uh, construct a circle so you at least know how to get the perspective right, because it can be quite difficult to kind of eyeball a circle. You can be thinking, OK, I know it fits in this 10 by 10 square, but you know, um, let me just get my pen working. You know, does it fit? like this? Does it fit, you know, should it be tall and skinny? Should it be, you know, foreshortened a bit? And if so, how much? So this is the technique that I'm going to show now. And why am I doing this? I'm going to make a video on circular stairs. And unfortunately, circular stairs are, are pretty complicated. And there's a foundational skill first, which is to how to draw circles and portions of circles, which is why I've broken this out separately. But actually, this is useful for much more, of course, than just circular stairs. As you can see, you've got archways, pits, wells, and anything around, you know, the, the ends of stadiums, anything like that. OK, enough nattering. Let's say. Um, I'm going to build a circle, and like this one, let's make it a 40 by 40 circle. So the first step is to uh, get your ruler out and uh, mark the square in which your circle will sit. So um, I'm using Photoshop. I'm not assuming that you will be. So when you see these blue lines, assume that I'm using pencil and a ruler. Um, these days, actually, I tend to draw traditionally with a marker and then use Photoshop to take it out, a blue marker. All right, so here's the square. Here is um, the center of my circle. And my circle is going to pass through a bunch of control points. So I just need to figure out where those are. So I'm going to put a dot at the center of each of these lines. And that's easy enough, right? The circle is the same diameter as this uh, as the square 20 foot radius. But figuring out the diagonals is a little bit more tricky. So the basic rule of thumb is this. You come out halfway half again to 3 quarters, and then back a little bit. And then put your dot there. And I'll show that again. On this side, this distance is across the diagonal of two squares. So halfway is one square, and then half a square is diagonal, and then come back a little bit. And again this way, one square, half a square, and then back a little bit. Here, half the distance, 3 quarters of the distance, back a little bit. OK, so now um, what you'll notice is that, let me get a different color here. Um, I have to make my lines pass through a series of tangents. So this control point on this circle, here are my corner control points. And I need to have a nice smooth line that comes you know, parallel to this point here, um, that's parallel to this line here. Oh, let me get that right. Right, so this eighth of the circle is going to start, you know, parallel to this line and end up parallel to this line, and I'm just going to come in like that. So let me show that over here. I'm going to come in initially parallel to this line, and then smooth as I can deviate down. Oops, handy eraser to like that. So that's one eighth of my circle. And I'm just going to do that again. So here I should be vertical. And I'm going to come down and gradually pull in parallel to this dot here. Now I'll do this side like that. There we go. OK, so those are the ends. Now it's foreshortened, so these sides are a little bit pointier. Um, these you should expect to be much shallower. I have quite a bit more room to get to my halfway point. But again, I have to follow. I start parallel to this line and then gradually peel away and then end up horizontal here. And do the same thing coming over here. And you don't have to be too careful, I guess. Just as long as it doesn't look like I tried to draw something different. So there you have it. There's my 40 by 40 circle. Um, uh, I'll show you how I did the archway. Um, it's a very similar thing. And I'll start off actually by drawing maybe a larger tunnel. So let's put my space in a 
20 by 20 um, tunnel and uh, let's actually do the top half so I would I could do a circle that's that's on the wall here and let's say the bottom of my doors are this is the bottom of my archway and I just want to make the top half into a circle so again here's the center of my circle here's one side here's the other side let me get rid of this line because I think that's confusing for now and I want to work out this distance so again I'm going to follow my three quarters minus a little bit rule so I come out halfway three quarters and then back a little bit and put my dot there and again the same thing from the center to this other corner I come out halfway three quarters and then back a little bit and again I have to start out it's tempting to just kind of rock it over to that point but you've got to come parallel to the roof a little bit and you want to come through here like this and then gradually become parallel to that side whoops that's about as wobbly as I could do that line So wobbly hand notwithstanding, uh, there's my there's my arc. Okay, so archways have some thickness, so let's you know pull everything back a quarter quarter of a block. I'll have two and a half foot thick walls, and I'm just going to freehand this, try and copy that wall, that outer curve, um, and like I did over here, let's add some thickness to this one. Let's make it five feet thick. So I'm going to come down to here. I'm just going to basically move all my control points down five feet. So this is a shortcut. So this control point will come down to here. Or I guess it would be about here. Here comes down to here. And again, I got to be parallel to this line as I come through this point and parallel to this line as I come through here. So there we go. So there's my inner thickness to that. So you can do lots of things with circles. That's just a couple of examples. And uh, next video, you should expect to see some circular stairs. I hope that was useful. And uh, if you have any comments, feel free to throw them in the bottom. And I'll see you soon.